Hey guys, good morning. So today we're gonna go grocery shopping. You guys are gonna come with me as we go into the grocery store and I show you guys what to buy and what things to avoid. As you all know, I'm a plant-based nutritionist, so of course we'll be plant-based shopping. And as always, plant-based shopping on a budget. So follow me today as we check out some things in my favorite grocery store, which is Sprouts Farmer's Market. So. Come on in and let's hang out. First things first, always make sure you get yourself a daily ad so we can see what's on sale. Now, of course, you see we have the bakery section, which typically we should want to avoid anyway. And like I said, always shopping on a budget. We already have a right here for $0.77 cents a pound. And don't be afraid to always get for variety. So always get for variety of different things. So we're definitely going to have to get some bakery today. Strawberries, vegan, three for five. That feels really, really good. So three for five then, even on your strawberries. So always want to make sure you pick your fruits nice and right. So when you have your strawberries, of course, make sure they're nice and red. This is a pretty good box. And of course you can still go organic. One thing I really, really love about Sprouts is that you can get things in bulk. They carry all types of nuts, dried fruit, rice, quinoa, and definitely like on the weekends they do their 72 hour sale and you can get a lot of their nuts on sale. So even if you don't want to go and buy those little containers of like cashews or almonds, or if you just don't really want to big container you can get as many as you want you can come in here and just make your own trail mix if you want to from pistachios roasted salsa almonds they even have already made trail mix in here so there's numerous ones that you can get so whenever they do have sales this is the best place to go to get them in the fall one thing i really love about sprouts is that you can also get your sea salt in bulk and you can just keep refilling your containers at home. So I really, really love this. And as well as your flowers. So they have coconut flour, almond flour, and my favorite, garbanzo bean flour. So I use garbanzo bean flour to make a lot, a lot of dishes. So of course, if you follow me on my page, you'll definitely see all the different dishes I will be making with these flowers. So again, this is another thing I love about shopping at Sprouts is that you can get great produce, farm fresh produce, three pounds for a dollar. So I'm about to stock up on a lot of work. So of course, again, we're shopping in the produce section and there's plenty of pears. Pears are one of the fruits that often gets left out, but there's different kinds. You have your false pears, your red pears, of course your Dan Joe pears, your Fuji pears. Check out all these great local peppers, nice and fresh, and of course on sale. So I'm definitely love to make stir fries, so I'm gonna have to get me plenty of peppers. So again, we're walking through the produce aisle. So you have your avocado and Roma tomatoes are 88 cents a pound. That's really, really good. And I really love Roma tomatoes over your beef steak or any of your vine ripened tomatoes because they're less acidic. So if you have someone like me who has really bad acid reflux, this really, really good tomatoes for you to have. And also mushrooms and bulk. So if you're making this a stir fry for the night and you don't want to have to buy the full packages, you can just get the few that you need for tonight. Favorite section of the store, which gives all your meals, all the flavors, is the bulk spice section. I absolutely love coming here and finding all the different types of spices that they have to offer. And again, in bulk, and it's better than going and buying the small spices because many of these are 69 cents just for an ounce. So that's a whole container itself. Save your containers and come and refill here. So as we have been traveling around the grocery store, you see that I have avoided 
with the aisles, okay? So no aisles, as you can see, these are potato chips, cookies, all the things that we don't need, and I have not gone down any of these. So that's how you can help yourself in the grocery store, shop the perimeter for your produce, and get out. So these aisles are unnecessary for grocery shopping. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed doing a little grocery shopping with me today. I didn't do too much, but I wanted to show you guys just a little bit of what I do and how you can avoid going down the aisles and just really picking out those good fruits and vegetables that you need and finding exotic fruits. Just stay open-minded, try to keep up with those sales papers, and like I said, just be open-minded to try new things. But I will be back with more videos. I'll take you guys to some different grocery stores, and as well, I'll show you guys my receipts once I do some real hardcore grocery shopping. Today was just more of pick up a few things. So I'm about to head home and start cooking my new groceries.